on your website, you've got here eternally liquid, forward compatible, nested conditional, and multi resource NFTs. Uh, what is that in layman's terms? Yeah, so um, it's it's pretty it's pretty hard to uh, put it into something very very simple. But essentially, we have a system. We have uh, we've developed five um, standalone standards, NFT 2.0 standards that we call NFT 2.0 Legos, and you can put together into complex uh, systems. And these allow you to make an uh, evolvable NFT. These allow you to make dynamic character progression NFTs, like for games. These allow you uh, to have NFTs within other NFTs. And these allow you to continually add value to an NFT. So right now, let, uh, like on a really simple example, in Ethereum or any other ecosystem right now, if you have a collection of 10,000 elephant NFTs and four of them have a red hat, the rarity of the red-headed elephant is four in 10,000. And that's it. That's the end of the story. With Remark, not only can you take that red hat and put it onto any of the elephants, you can also launch a new collection of pandas or raccoons and make that hat compatible with them very, very easily in a single click. And this makes the rarity of the red hat no longer four in 10,000. It makes it four in 20,000 or 30,000 or however many other things it's compatible with. And so you have this concept of dynamic rarity applied to NFTs that are cross collection compatible. So we've solved the global creator economy problem where everybody can contribute to everything. And this is also what makes decentralized metaverses possible.